time on Races to Places, Lyndon began work on reassembling Basil. Good morning everyone. Um, today it's an early start because it's dino day. So here we are. The sun's not even up yet. Well here goes the moment of truth where Basil is put through his paces. As you know, Basil runs on a carburettor. So here at Superbike Solutions, they will tune the fuel in and optimize the level, ensuring Basil is at peak performance. This is always an apprehensive moment for an engine builder. Well, it looks like the rebuild on Basil's engine has been a success. I bet Lyndon can't wait to get out and hit the African trails. Um, so today I went to the dyno and had a pretty successful day. I want to show you the results, which are pretty mega. This is the power curve, so this red line is Basil Bike uh, when I arrived in Australia, so it was pretty tired, he'd done 80,000 kilometres and as you can see this is the power output, it's like 57 horsepower. Then we changed it from a 654cc to a 730 by boring and stroking it and also put a camshaft in it, uh, made some changes, put the long wide ratio gearbox in from Nova and everything all in one. And after we'd set that up on the dyno, we got the blue line. So you can see a massive gain, what I got there. But the thing that was bothering me was this drop-off here um, at the top end because a, a significant drop like that would suggest airflow. It can't get enough air, basically, which is intake size. Um, so it was always bugging me that actually I could probably get more at the top end here. Um, so what I did is thought long and hard about it, didn't want to increase the top end, wanted to put a bigger carburetor on it, but quite often when you put a bigger carburetor on, you suffer at the bottom end. So, what I did to try and keep that bottom end and mid-range, and also increase the top end, and not only put a bigger carburetor on it, I also reduced the duration on the camshaft, and put a little bit less overlap on the lobes on the camshaft to try and hang on to this here and the results speak for themselves. I mean, I've got a little bit more low and mid-range and a heck of a lot more top end. I mean, 13 horsepower at the rev limiter, more power. Significant gains here at peak, only moved peak up a little bit, about four or 500 RPM, and maintained down there. And if we look at torque, which is this bottom chart, similar things happened. You can see the torque tailed off back to where it was originally. I mean, you see massive gains between red and blue. That was when I arrived in Australia to when I rebuilt the engine in Australia. But again, even with the new setup, while we've gained a lot at the top end, we've even managed to gain down here as well. So massive results, big thumbs up. 
I'm gonna go out with some friends in the morning for breakfast and give it a whirl and pop some wheelies. Oh my, what's going on here? Shoot. I've broken my bike. I'm not happy about it. Um, so I've just spent three to four weeks rebuilding Basil bike. Um, dynoed it yesterday, got it all set up, everything's perfect. Went for a little ride this morning, missed the gear and broke my gearbox. Can you believe, four years, 200,000 miles, no problems, just rebuilt the engine, no, no signs of any issues, and then I go and break it myself, like it is. So, I don't really want to show this, but it's the first time Basil's been on a trailer. Thankfully, uh, KTM came to the rescue. Glad it happened here and not in the middle of Namibia or somewhere like that. That's not good. So today is a KTM Adventure Rally Day in Swaziland, South Africa, where riders are invited to test out the KTM range. This will cheer Linden up after the catastrophe of breaking poor Basel. Right, good morning from Johannesburg. This morning we're just about to leave for the KTM Adventure Rally in Swaziland. Basel's not very well. He's in Cape Town uh, waiting for some parts. So we've flown over to Johannesburg, met up with Joey Evans and we're gonna go rip it up in Swaziland for the weekend. Super excited uh, to get to Swaziland, a new country. Check out all the bikes. 690s, Enduro bikes, 690s, 1290s, factory rally bikes. Got a full show going on here. How's it guys? How's it going? Ready, ready, ready to go riding? <laughs> We just got through the border and in the car with seven bikes worth about three million rand on the trailer um, and all we had to declare was the car. And that's it. Just straight through the border into Swaziland, out of South Africa into Swaziland with uh, three million rand worth of bikes. We could be able to sell them here for good money, <laughs> what do you reckon, Joey? I think we've got a new business plan. We're going to scrap all this traveling and racing nonsense. We're going to be rich. We're on it, on it. Come on ladies, 106. Just gonna crash. find out. 106. Did you get me a room? No, no, you're, 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 uh, you got a piece of grass here. Woo. This is my grass. Looks like I'm gonna be on the grass over here. The weather isn't looking too great, but hopefully it'll break and we'll see some sunshine. Some nice aerial shots of the hotel where the riders are staying. My expectations for the rally is just to have a good time. Uh, I'm sure everyone else feels the same, but I want to get out, I want to explore, I want to ride on my motorcycle and enjoy this place. I'm looking forward to it and I'm going to share my experiences with you.
us what you think of the KTM Adventure Rally so far. It's very tough so far. <laughs> Even if man should imagine it. No, but it's all flat, not up and down like this. It's got like a hill. It's just Lyndon doing his good deed for the day. Fantastic, loving it, sweating. <laughs> English! Very <laughs> nice! Lovely, amazing. Day two of the event, and it looks like we're in for some sun. Now we're talking, just look at this scenery. Stunning. Like we're sharing the road with a few cows here. The riders really do get a good variety of terrain in Swaziland. Okay, so here we are at the end of day two of the KTM Adventure Rally 2018 in Swaziland. What an awesome experience it's been. I've had so much fun. Massive thank you to everyone that's been part of it. All the people that have attended and taken part. All the people that have helped to put it together. KTM South Africa, it's been amazing. Amazing experience. And I'm so glad to have met so many new friends here. So thanks to everybody and I hope you all have a fantastic night. Next time on Races to Places, the good old puncture makes another appearance. Hi everyone, I just want to say a massive thank you to you all for watching my media and for all the great comments that I receive every single day, please keep them coming. I'm just going to share with you my Patreon page. Patreon is a membership based platform that gives creators like me the opportunity to continue cr to create the media that you love to watch. For just a few dollars a month, I can give you priority viewing, I can give you special features, informative posts about the things that you want to know. It creates a platform for interaction between you, the viewer, and me, the creator. Now, a few dollars a month might not seem like a lot to you, but for me, collectively, it makes a huge difference. So please check out the link at the bottom of the page, and I appreciate any contribution you can make to make my job sustainable. In return for that, I promise to keep creating great media that you love, dreaming up new projects, filming it and sharing it with you all. Thanks. <laughs>